So, to wrap up the Jugend week, I figured let's go for a random opponent. And lucky for me, I'm gonna be the random opponent who might have had a team that actually disrupts me quite a lot. However, we see both sand and rain. And I kind of like that. I can't make up my mind what would be worse. However, Lorelei is actually quite the lead for the most of these, mainly because I can actually capitalize on Surf back. How do I beat a Kyogre or I mean a Kingdra? I do not. I, I really do not. Um, my best play against Kingdra is in theory just... Um, well, I'll be honest. My best play is basically not to get like reverse sweeped. Your power lead is good though. I mean the sand do annoys me and stealth rocks could be annoying but I am able to spam ice beam for free even if Politoed comes in. Thing is I don't want to bait in the Gudra. Or Gudra. Um why did I say Gudra? I don't want to bait in the Politoed. They're nothing alike. If he does decide to stay in, it's most likely special defensive. They're good. Freeze him! No. Got a freaking berry on his hand. Still though, it dies to the next ice beam, which works for me. John, however, does not. It's like pick the words of two worlds and take it from there. Why would you have John? Right, blood root it is. Like I clearly don't wanna hang with that guy at all. <laughs> He's gonna switch too because he loses the power of his days in. Which he knew. Here comes Politoed. Hello, buddy. So he got dual rain. Or uh, dual weather, I mean, dual rain. What the fuck is wrong with me? Um, while that could be annoying, also at the same time, I like the concept. This is something I really wanted to do myself, but you know, you're, you're not gonna run sand and sun together. You simply are not. Goes for Skull, I think that's fair. With great risk comes great responsibility, and here comes the burn. And Giga Drain should do roughly half, right? No, not even close. However, this is a losing matchup, which is what we want to see. So I actually think I can Sleep Powder here. If he has Ice Beam, like, so be it. But more likely, I think my opponent is going to go for a more safer lead. Maybe. This is how we draw. Nice. Now I got a bank on 75%. I think I land more sleep powders than focus blast. Oh, come on! That worked great for him. Yeah, I do not want to stomach a psychic, that's for sure. Morning suns and whatnot. Like, I didn't forget about Espeon, I kind of just ignored it. Luckily, it doesn't get Mystical Fire. Like, Espeon is not bad as generation, it's not that, but, or in BDSP, it just kind of follows behind with the um, move pool that it isn't as impressive. Unless you get this Pedef drop, which makes it a bit harder. It's Life Orb though, which works. And if I were him, I'd clearly switch out to uh, Hippowdon, right? Um, or he can just go for a risk and take me out, which I don't believe is a bad play. As I got the special defense drop. So I would draw. Like I said, I don't think that's a theoretical bad play at all. Yet Citrus, which means I'm gonna capitalize on Brian on the potential switch into uh, Politoed. Because we get him in the range. Nice. I mean, Dugon is actually fascinatingly threatening. <laughs> Which I do like. Maybe for all the wrong reasons, but still. Ice Beam is still solid. Like I said, Brian it gets him in range. For both of the moths, really. Side so withdraw. I think that works. To Politoed. Gets a drizzle, we get a boosted Brian, and hopefully that is enough to get him in range. 
Actually, far from it. I do want to go for another one of those, though. He knows I'm scarfed, after all, but Brian now should really sting. It's not as much as I wanted it to. <laughs> Goes for Scald. Really? Burn me too? No. Right. Blood roots. Already done these plays before, but quite frankly... I'm half expecting an Ice Beam, aren't I? Perish song. Hey. Hey. <laughs> That's what's up. I <laughs> like that, though. So Perish song is called... Like I said, Shoot of Ice Beam Theory. I get Raven. Like, I should force it out, unless he has... That's fine. Because this clearly baits in the Kingdra, which I will stay in against, because it would have, it would be a mistake letting it rip apart my team this early. Um, go for Sleep Powder. However, if it brings an Espeon, I'm clearly switching out to my Scissor, which definitely do not enjoy this matchup at all. Either, like, I do believe Espeon gets the 2-hit KO on me, which is very unfortunate. Alright, we got the Swift Swimmer, and like I said, my best play here is Sleep Powder, even if... I mean, if it's Specs, that would be extremely unfortunate. If it's Dragon Dance, and I think I'm making the right call. Goes ready for an Ice Beam. Oh, I swear this is gonna kill. Ugh. Took it like a chimp. Oh, no! Well, do I have a switch in to kind of survive this matchup? I really don't have it, do I? So it's a sack play anyway. Strength sap and fall. John. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, but I love it. <laughs> That was a good play. John on a Swift Swimmer. Why not, right? Maybe I should just get ready for Chip. I really didn't consider John. I was thinking he just killed me dead, right? Ah, uh, it's a shame. Like I said, the Sleep Powder would have helped out to not be in as poor of a situation. Still, though, we can't reset anything. So I can easily go for rocks here. I don't believe that would be greedy. Unless he gets a freeze. Does connect the hydro pump, which sucks, really. I would very much want to keep that sturdy. <clears throat> but yeah, we got bullet punches for days. We got a scarf dugong, which definitely won't help. And we got explosion, which I will absolutely capitalize on. Oh, he stayed in. Huh. Well, <clears throat> I'll take it. I, I didn't expect that, honestly. <laughs> well, well, how the tables have turned. And rain stopped. Of course it stops when I wanted to use it and just spam surf. Now the king is gone, right? That's That's what I wanted to see. So, my opponent probably goes into Espeon, I was going to say, but he probably works too. Question is for me. Like, in theory. I know we had Espeon and Raikou. Did he have a Steel type? Like, Ice Beam is all of a sudden always better, right? <coughs> right, the Hitboy's out. Nice. <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised I got the rock sub. What's the chances of that? So I really, 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 really wish he brings in Raikou. 
Lucario. Oh yeah. That's not great. I haven't forgotten. Should just lock myself into surf. Um He has a free setup, hasn't he? Don't want to use that. This is my best switching, I think. Unless it's scarfed, it's the best switching I have. I wish I had Intimidate. Though we don't know whether or not it's scarfed, or I mean, um, it's going to say physical yet. Yeah, there's an earthquake, there we go. Alright, how much will knee speed do? It shouldn't kill, but at the same time, I don't kill either. Right, we do have speed. Nice! 130 base power. Yes! It actually did manage to scope a killer. Scope? Yes, it's scope a killer. <laughs> hey oh! Alright. So we still got a, like a major issue with... Um, with the Espeon. That we can scope kills with. <laughs> Here we go. So, my best play is, we got Espeon and we got Raikou left. My best play is absolutely going to feed a Max an off chance of a Dazzling Gleam. So I can just boost off the damage versus the Psychic. Because I, I want to beat this guy, but I don't know how many times I can do it. But if I get a Roost off, I should at least have an off chance of actually recovering HP versus an Espeon who has pretty much getting in range of uh, a brine. That that's the end game for me. Getting that brine range. I am roosting here. My opponent should switch out, but if he switches out, oh come on! Why do they do that? I kind of like this game. Well, no matter. That was the last game of the Yugon Week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually did something in this game. That was kind of alright. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, as always, take care everyone, right?